Hi, this is your best friend. I'm here with a quick intro to my highlighted games. I have three highlighted games of me playing ADP uh to a recent chill tournament. I went six and two at the tournament before I had to uh, drop out due to IRL issues, but I wanted to just highlight uh, three upcoming games. This is a uh, fairly standard um, ADP Zation list, at least from the last format, updated with uh, one copy of Peony which is um, very good at helping to get off the turn 1 GX stack going second if you find it, since you can just find two trainer cards, which can be, for instance, Energy Spinner and Energy Switch, Saucer and Energy Switch, um, Switch, Energy Switch, Switch, Energy Spinner, um, really helps you get that combo off. And then a copy of Cricketune, which makes sense with Peony. Um, when you discard your hand, you can then use Cricketune to get back into drawing. Uh, I do think the deck is very, very strong in a vacuum. And in fact, I have strongly considered making more cuts. Um, this is the list I played for the event, but in my current list, I've actually gone down to three Zacian and two Peony. I've even considered cutting uh, a Cherish Ball for a third Peony. However, right now the deck is in a bit of an awkward meta placement. Um, the traditional boss-boss game plan is a little under threat. A lot of new decks aren't even playing Dedenne's and Crobats. They're relying on Sincinos or Inteleons, which makes it hard to go for the... Um, bossing around VMAXs, and the deck as it is is not very strong facing into oppo opposing VMAXs, especially ones that can either go after your benched Zations, like Blaziken Zerora, or can possibly KO your ADP before you get to GX attack, like Ice Rider can. Um, so the deck is in an, a bit of an awkward place. I'm not saying that it's bad as it is now, although I do think it is possibly looking into trying different builds of ADP Zations, such as uh, a recent uh, one that's been cropping up with uh, Galarian Moltres and Galarian Zapdos, or maybe even dropping um, in some Berserker to try to just hit the uh, VMAXs instead. So, uh, definitely some options worth looking into, but uh, I hope that you enjoy the games. The three games I have lined up is uh, first, a game against a Luke Metal player, where I show off just how strong our Rusted Sword is. This is pretty much mainly for the Luke Metal matchup, we only play one, but in that matchup, it is so strong, and you're going to see that in that game. The second one is a close match with Green's Trevnor, a always fun matchup, where they're going to try to take away our hand and lock us in with um, their new stadium that locks out abilities, Path to the Peak. And since this deck does rely heavily on support Pokemon abilities, that was definitely a tough matchup. And then finally, we have a game against Rapid Strike Single Prize Malamar, which I felt showed off really strong just the power of the ADP GX attack and how oppressive it still is towards single prize decks. I hope that you enjoy! Let's see, opponent specific list. Um, looks very standard. Three dolls, four Zacian, two Luke Metal, two Zamazenta. Uh, let me see. Do I want to go first? Yeah. They do play one Avery, which is going to be useless for them, so that's good. They have a useless draw supporter. Start with a weird hand. Okay, that's a pretty bad hand. Uh, hopefully they start something ugly. Okay, they start as Zacian. That's their best starter, so that kind of sucks. Guess we just uh, attach... Oh, I forgot to check my prizes. Okay, that's fine. Let's just, uh, Intrepid. Okay. Um, not the best things to get off Intrepid, but Cherish Bowl is fine. It means we can at least find the ADP spinner and attach water. Yeah. Next turn isn't the worst ever. Okay, they have to play Avery right at the start. Okay, they get the goggles attached quickly. We don't have a tool scrap or anything. Okay. And they're just going to attach an Intrepid too, so... Boss, do we want to play... No, we don't play Boss. Do we want to Mawile them? No, we want to get the ADP down so we can spin her and attach a water to it. We could try to go, like, full balls to the wall, but it's not even worth it because we're not knocking it out. We'd have to find a sword, too, and the chances of us finding a sword and a way to attack with the activization is very low, so... 
Let's just ditch this whole hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, discard this. And I think I want to maul out them now. Oh my gosh, they don't have any Pokemon in that hand? That sucks. Do they play Crushing Hammers? They don't, so this water should be safe. Ah, I want to get another metal in for Saucers. Do I want to put down a Cricketune or a Bat? Um, do I want to just get another Zacian down? I want to get another Zacian down because there's a very small chance that they can knock it out this turn. Okay, at least we get the switch, so we might be able to get the turn 3 GX attack. Hopefully they're slow, too. Okay, Marnie. Kind of sucks because we had switch energy, but it shouldn't be too hard to find that with the next hand, even if we're down to switch. Okay, and they just intrepid. Oh, and they find two to put on active. Great. Okay, we find our sword. That's really good. I'm going to put on the bench one. Just gonna put Cricketune in play. Draw an extra card. Okay, metal energy is good. Switch your balloon. Okay, we find the balloon. Do we want to day day? We're down a lot of energy and we're gonna lose more if they yeah, let's just GX attack. so far behind right now. I still haven't checked what my prizes are in it. It's too late at this point. Whatever. Another Marnie. Does mean my opponent won't boss my sword station though, so that's good. Ooh! Double saucer. And we have two in the discard, so... They have to retreat two metal off if they want a full metal wall this turn. And if they don't full metal wall, we can knock out this station with our current hand. Okay, they are going to retreat. That's that's fine. Like, we're, we lose two energy, but they lose two energy, so I am fine with that. Oh, that is such a good top deck. Switch boss here. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, let's... Yeah, let's Gricketune first. Ugh. Okay, switch boss. Ugh, neither. Okay. We can get the hit in. But then they just knock us out. Back? Maybe not. Um, yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, we are... We're so far behind right now, I think it's just worth it to try to go for it. It's a risk. Or do we just... Intrepid? What do they play for boss? They play for boss. There's no way they don't have it. Okay, wait. Um, do we get the knockout, actually? Because we... Oh, we do get the knockout. Okay, so we definitely go for that. I didn't even realize we got the knockout. Sword is broken. Oh, I sh should I play the research? Oh, no, I should. Yeah, we're going to play the research now. Yeah, I had to play it before the research, duh. 
and we'll go ahead and play this now. Okay, we'll take the knockout. That's that's pretty good. Okay, we're down all four saucers, so that kind of sucks. Our opponent only needs one saucer and attachment to knock us out back, which would be pretty rough. That would be pretty rough. If they don't knock us out here, though, we have game in hand, because we can horn the, uh, the thing back up. They have not used any saucers yet, though. Seven card hand, they probably have attachment saucer. There's attach. Synth Caitlyn. Sucks that we had to get rid of those saucers earlier. They haven't played any boss yet, which is interesting. I wonder if they have them, like, a lot prized, or if they're just holding them in their hand. Oh, okay, sweet. They didn't get it. That's game. I cannot believe we won that. Oh my gosh. Echoing Horn. Escape Rope. Boss. Oh, don't click Intrepid Sword. Retreat and... Brave Blade! Let's go! 3-0! and oh. Alright. We had a slow start, they had a slow start, but I can't believe we pulled that out. That was really great. Let's go into it. Positive attitude. Let's do it. Let's go. Positive attitude. Hype, hype, hype. We're gonna go 4 0. Let's do it. I definitely need to check my prices this game, though, because this is gonna be a really important game to check prices. They are gonna get to go second, which is good for them. We get, oh, we take three mulligans, that's not great. And we get a not great start. <sighs> okay. Oh, that, that helps make it better, though. Um, they play four hammers. I think we just, we could try to go for Dedene and Dig, but I don't think there's a point to that. I'm just going to... Go for the simplest possible. Do they play a tool scrapper? They don't play a tool scrapper. And they play four Marnie, so I'm going to attach the balloon and then just attach a metal. And intrepid. Oh, that's, a, that's good. Okay. Two metal attached right there. Okay, so we have options now. They don't disrupt our... Oh, okay, and they just go right for the crushing blow. No hammers or anything. Do we just go for the ultimate ray, I wonder? Is it right to just go for the ultimate ray? Do they play a net? They don't play a net. Okay, so this crest is stuck in play. If they played a net, I might just go for the ultimate ray. But as it is, we'll just uh, switch... Research. Uh. Um, I want to find a swell. Because if I don't get swell down... Yeah. Yeah. Then they can path to the peak and GX attack us. Do I want to mawile them? They do have a pretty big hand. Um, but they play so few Pokemon. I don't know. It would be really good if we could catch a Cress. No, I don't think it's worth it. Let's just grab a uh, Krikatoon and put it down. And Dede. Oh gosh, no swell. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Crobat for two. I really want to swell. No swell. Damn it. Okay. So if they path to the peak, 
and uh, GX attack us. We have switches in hand if they do that, but they could Marnie us. Or, yeah, I just... Okay, yep, there's the path, there's the boss. Okay, and they're just going to night watch. So let's hold on to the escape rope. Yes, we held on to the escape rope. Okay. Oh, that's not the escape rope. Okay. All right, and that puts us in such a strong spot now. Okay. Path in place sucks, but top deck sword here is game. Okay, and they're going to pale moon, but we have switch in hand. That's so good. Okay, did not top deck a sword, but... We can just switch and brave blade. Okay, here we go. They only have one Trevnar in play with 10 HP, and if we knock it out, we win. Oh, here come the crushings. Shit. Nightwatch. Okay, if we hold on to both energy switch, we win. Oh, damn it. They took one away. Okay. Okay, we can burn cards from our hand. We're doing this, we can burn this. We can energy switch one card to here, and oh, but we can't crack a tune, right? Because it's path in play. Ugh. Okay. Um, I think we just run away for a little bit. I can't believe that. That was such a bad play playing that horn. Uh, I thought we could crack a tune. Okay, tail and hammers. Boss, shit. Okay. They still aren't switching, though. Literally, top deck metal energy is win. Do I promote the Zacian? We, d we don't have many metal energy in deck, so I don't think so. I think we just promote did any. Top deck balloon, that's not very useful. Um, we'll just put it in play, though, so it doesn't get shuffled back in and make our top decks worse. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here comes the greens. Probably good for a bunch of hammers, too. I feel like I could have played that better, but... At some point... I was just unlucky to not find one of our two swells. Ah, uh, now they can attack with a fresh Trevnart. <sighs> Useless top deck. Come on, top deck research. It's not a research. Ah, gear for boss. Okay, gear for greens. Yeah, double hammer. We need these both to be tails. Okay, one tails. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, we have two saucers left. It doesn't, doesn't change our win con, which is... We need to t get research here. Just top deck research. That's not research. Okay. I can't stall for a turn, though. They only have one switch to escape rope. Have they used... They've only used one escape. Oh, they've used their switch. Okay. 
So they might be stuck this turn. That's... Again, I'm just going to put it down so... Not that many. Shoot. Don't have a way to retreat this. Boss doesn't do anything because this has a one retreat cost. Okay, here we go. If they have an energy in hand, we lose. Avery to draw three. Oh my gosh, they didn't get it. Okay. Okay, that's an energy we can use to retreat. If they pay retreat here, they might pay retreat. And then we might be able to boss it back up. Oh, I don't know. Another greens for escape rope. Oh gosh, another freaking escape rope. That is the last of their switch. Are they going to pay retreat or just attack? Okay, they're attacking with the active. So we just got a top deck here. We just got a top deck research. Top deck research. Top deck research. Peony. Okay. Um, that's it, because we can get two metal saucers if they're in deck. They are. Wait, we have two metal in the discard, right? Yes, we have more than enough. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if that was a GG, because that was just like ten solid turns of neither of us doing anything, but... We take those. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how how the hell I won it. Oh, both my swell were prized. I won against a Path to the Peak deck with both of my swell prized. Wow. That being said, I think this is an incredibly good matchup for us. All right, we want to go first. I think that if we... Oh. Okay, Dedene start. That's not good. But the rest of the hand isn't too bad. They don't play any hammers or anything. They don't play any hand disruption either, though, so... We'll literally just cherish ball, grab ADP, no hand disruption or anything, so we can just safely attach the water energy, yeah, and um, no scrap or anything, so we can play the balloon. Um, do we want a bat turn? Nah, nope, no need to bat. And our play next turn is literally just attach metal and research, so... Alright, they get a Remoraid and a Mincino down, turn one, and an energy attachment. Okay, Karina's focus. So their, their deck is at least running smoothly-ish. I mean, I should respect this because it went 4-0, and but it's freaking Malamar. Alright, and yeah, we literally just attach... We're gonna research... Uh, they don't play any plant or anything, right? Or, I guess, peak now. Yeah, they play Tower of Water, so we can... Um, nah, we can save that. I mean, again, they don't play hand disruptions. So we can bench that whenever we want. And yeah, we are going to Altered Creation, and then this is it. They need to knock out ADP this turn. If they don't, I'm pretty sure it's mathematically impossible for them to win. They have a six-card hand. 
I need to find Malamar and let me see, it's 40 plus, so six cards. So in a six card hand, they need Malamar and six Rapid Strike Pokemon. Or six Rapid Strike cards, I guess. Are they slow rolling me? Okay, there's their trade. They need a perfect seven cards here. If they do, they win. If they don't, I win. Literally, it all just comes down to this, I feel like. Put your cards on the table, buddy. Quick ball. For another ink. Okay, they don't have it. Yep, I'm... Yeah, because they need six Rapid Strike cards. Okay, and they bench it. Yeah, they don't have it. I think that's game. Feels weird to say before anyone's taken any knockouts, but I... The only other thing is if we research and we do not hit one of our four... Yeah, we have to research and not hit one of our four Zashans to power up. That's it. And this turn is just going to be really simple. Grab a water. Pull this down. And I guess it could be prob a problem if we... I guess we could boss around the Lucky Egg, but then we won't have a Zation to power up, so... I guess if we draw into like all of our metal energy and can't accelerate them, but we draw into none of them, so... Uh, do we have something else we can power? Let's just power up Mawile. It'll get KOs. Oh, well, we can also bench that. Which just limits their damage output even more. And Ultimate Ray. Yeah. Draw all the cards you want. I don't think they can win anymore. Even if they manage to knock out the ADP this turn, we go Zacian knockout, they knock that out, we go more wild knockout, so. My opponent is playing slow. I don't think that's like a disrespect thing though. I mean, I'm sure they're really like thinking everything through. I mean, you gotta be thinking <laughs> to go 4 0 with Malamar, but it's a little annoying since I don't think they can win in anymore, but they are just taking a while on their turns. If you could use multiple Octillaries per turn, this deck would actually be really good, I think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe not, like, really good. It would be decent, <laughs> which would be a big step up from where it is now. It would be decent. I don't even know if Octillery is that good in this deck. Like, wow, you can find a Rapid Strike card, but you had to use a Rapid Strike card to put the Octillery in play. <laughs> That's a lot of cards they're shuffling in. They got the knockout on my ADP one turn too late. This is 30 more. 
for each of your opponent's bench, so four, okay, yeah. Might as well just attack with Marwile, just in case, like, I don't know, somehow it isn't doing enough damage. Okay. Have they used uh, Make Do yet? If not, that seems like a sequencing to grab to use Octillery first. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's not great sequencing. I mean, I don't think they need a whole lot to get this knocked out. Right. Yeah, I mean, they played really well. Their deck ran smoothly, it's just ADP is just completely oppressive against these types of one prize decks, but, I mean, if it wasn't just, like, an impossible matchup for them, they probably would have won, because their deck just ran super smooth like butter. Well, that's that, we're 5-0, let's go! Woo! 